Two giants of football going head to head today. The atmosphere is electric. So many stars on show and everyone is excited and ready for this one. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next on EA TV. Hello, great to be with you again. We're here at a venue that has a true soul, I think it's fair to say, Ellen Road. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leeds United taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the match is underway. Mark Rocca. Ball with Sam um, Maxima. Well, anyone who likes to study form will have come to the conclusion that this ought to be lopsided. On the one hand, you've got the worst home record. On the other, the best away record. Stewart, a mismatch? Well, Derek, you're not painting a great picture for these fans, are you? But then again, I can understand why. They've been really poor here, and I can't see that changing today. Let's hope they put up a fight. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Well, Chelsea deserved all the plaudits they got for their win against Crystal Palace. What do you expect this time around, Stuart? Yes, I thought... Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. The delivery towards the back post. But it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Free kick to Chelsea. comes to absolutely nothing and Chelsea looking dangerous can he finish and it goes the opening goal in this contest well let's look at this again the one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure and then the finish is fairly simple in the end that's a good goal
And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Mark Rocca. Romo. Now with Greenwood. Well, potential danger. But then the one that goes astray. Thiago Silva. Here's Kovacic. And that's an important intervention. Mark Rocca. So nearing the break, Chelsea hold the edge. Stuart, how about your assessment? Hang on, Derek, what a chance this is. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Greenwood, well read to win possession back. Could be a chance to break here. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So, back underway, with the scoreline standing at 2-0. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Mount. And he keeps going. Chances on. In it goes! A three-goal cushion. This is astonishing stuff. Well, here's the replay. What a great pass this is from Mason Mount. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And the referee's whistle. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here in Yorkshire. Well, away they go again, and it was an eye-catching display by Chelsea in the first half of this match. Good tackle. Well, it's gone out of play under real duress. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Mark Rocca. Well, Arsenal fans, no doubt about it, very excited given the transfer news. They've got their man, Stuart. Well, at around £50 million, I think they've probably paid the right amount for him. He's a wonderfully gifted player, and on his day will certainly excite the fans. Mateo Kovacic in the centre. And you need your defender to take charge. Mount. They've given it away. We've had a pair of Sinistera. Luis Romo. And Alex Scott is in position, ready to tell us about a breaking development at Molyneux.
Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Plenty of support here. Intelligent threaded pass here. Mount, a fine block. Very clear who got the last touch. So a corner coming up. And time for the change now. So the corner played into the box. And the struggle to get it away properly. And Sterling has it. And the keeper there to deal with it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, still an issue here. Vital intervention. Well, nearly shaving the post with that header. They will now make use of the substitute's bench. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Well, news coming through that the referee has pointed to the spot in one of the other matches. With the details, here's Alex. Yes, it was a penalty for Liverpool. The goalkeeper comes away as a hero because he saved the day. It remains 2-0 with 10 minutes left on the clock. Thank you, Alex. And the counter looks on here. Options available. John McGinn and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end a message delivered from the referee to the fourth official three minutes on the board so the final whistle now it goes down as a victory for Chelsea to the delight of their fans around the world you're absolutely right Derek their attacking play was excellent full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance.